hello guys in this video i am going to show you how you can locally install this model mistral quiet start demo and check out its reasoning capabilities we will be installing it on our local windows system and we will be checking out it uh, reasoning capabilities on various prompts this model is based on quiet star 8 i had and i covered this model yesterday it was quite a good model Especially when it comes to its thinking reasoning capabilities. This quite star model is Mistral 7 billion with continued pre-training and it is quite good when it comes to generating 8 thought tokens before each output token. Sort of I call it a thinking RLM and this new model which I, we will be covering today is based on that and according to its creator this model is proof of his theory that you don't need a special architecture to train a LLM to reason and the techniques which this person has employed to make this could be greatly expanded as per his model card and I will drop the model card of this Mistral Quiet Star demo in the video description but I have to say a massive effort so huge shout out to this uh, person and he actually commented on one of my video to check out uh, this model which I'm really grateful because uh, otherwise I wouldn't be able to find it. Really awesome model. I have played it up with it a bit and I was quite impressed. So let's also see it in action in this video. The tool which I'm going to use in order to install this model on my local system is my trusted LM Studio. If you don't know what LM Studio is, I have already done few videos on it and you can check out in the channel. So let me launch my LM Studio. So this is the LM Studio and we are on the home page of it. Now just type Mr. Alcoit Start Demo. In the text box press enter and you will see that there are two quantized version. So I will go with the quantized version of the creator which was just done yesterday. And I have already downloaded the best possible quantized version in Q8. And this has been uh, by the way fine tuned with Unsloth which I covered few days ago. Okay, so let's click on this folder icon to make sure model is there. It is there. Let's click on these three dots. Let me clear the previous chat from a previous video. And then let's set the GPU to max. Let's uh, try to load the model. Let me make it a bit smaller so that you will be able to see what is happening. Okay. Good. Let's load the model. Let's wait for it to load and you can keep the eye on the resource usage on the top left. I have one GPU card of around 16 GB of VRAM and my memory is 32 GB. Should be plenty. Okay, so that is done. Now let's ask it first reasoning question. So I'm asking it a group of three prisoners A, B and C are informed by the prison warden that one of them will be pardoned and the two will be executed. However, the warden also tells them that he won't reveal who will be pardoned. Prisoner, prisoner A asks the warden to provide them with a clue about who will be pardoned. The warden agrees and tells them the one who will be pardoned will be the one who figures out who the other two are. Using this clue, can the prisoners deduce who will be pardoned? It has printed the response and let's see what it, has, what it has said. It says, with just the warden clue to go on, it seems unlikely that the prisoners can definitely determine who will be pardoned. The clue could be interpreted in multiple ways. Now it is reasoning that it could mean that the prisoner who figures out the other two will be pardoned. In this case, prisoner A would need to figure out that prisoners B and C are the one getting executed and then A would be pardoned. However, it could also mean that the prisoner who identifies himself as the one to be pardoned. So it is now going into that mental loop, which is quite interesting. And it is uh, true that it says that without more clarification from the warden original statement, it is it seems like an unfair game for the prisoner. Mm, that is cool. And then it has it has drawn some mental image into the ASCII. So prisoner A is saying this, prisoner B <laughs> thinking this, prisoner C is thinking this, and then warden this says correct prisoner will be pardoned. And then it says that. The ASCII representation uh, represents a conversation among prisoners and the warden. Prisoner A states the warden clue. Prisoner B and C attempt to interpret it. Ultimately, warden returns to confirm that prisoner B will be pardoned. Interesting. 
okay now let's ask it another reasoning question so i'm asking it in a distant land there exists a mystical oracle known for its ability to answer any question with absolute accuracy however there's a catch the oracle only speaks in riddles you are tasked with asking the oracle a single question to determine whether it is indeed indeed capable of answering with absolute accuracy what question do you ask let's see let's press enter let's wait for it to come back with the answer so let's see what model has done here so it is saying that to test if the oracle truly answers with absolute accuracy i would ask it a yes and no question that has an obviously correct answer but is also not so obvious that it could be guessed randomly for example is 1 plus 1 equal to 2 or is gravity real if the oracle says yes 1 plus 1 2 and yes gravity is real then we can be certain it's an accurate oracle however if it gives nonsensical riddle even to simple yes then it must not be a genuine oracle okay and then it is going through our uh, mental images you can see how interesting that mental image is and then the R depicts the oracle and it has given the example so it has given us a question which is which sounds pretty good let's ask it one more question so we are saying archaeologists discover a strange artifact buried deep within an ancient tomb the artifact is a small intricately designed sphere with numerous engravings and symbols covering its surface despite extensive analysis no one can decipher its purpose or origin what theories can you propose regarding the artifact significance and how it might have been used by the civilization that created it so let's wait for it to come back with the response so let's look at the response so we are saying to analyze an artifact of unknown origin and purpose it helps to consider its physical characteristics the cultural context in which it was created and the potential function it may have served for example is it a religious or ceremonial object a tool or weapon a form of communication by compiling all available evidence and data from various disciplines like archaeology history and engineering we may be able to piece together a plausible theory how good is that so has it given us any theory or not it has gone into more detail but then i think due to the quantize one it just went into this loop but all in all a good answer i should say it is covering all the characteristics and context let's ask it one more question i'm asking it uh, a renowned crypt a cryptographer leaves behind a series of encrypted message before mysteriously disappearing was it satoshi anyway each message contain contains clues leading to the next location but they are encrypted using increasingly complex methods you have managed to decipher all the message except the final one which seems impenetrable without the key how do you decipher the final message let's see what it says the response is quite interesting it says to solve this cryptographic puzzle it helps to have a solid understanding of various encryption techniques common methods such as caesar cipher substitution code transposition ciphers and combination logs and then it goes into all of those clues and analysis and then some of the um, you know tools like venn diagrams truth table mathematical representations and all that stuff seems pretty good and then mental images are also nice it is just going through them and then it is telling us some of the key steps involved in deciphering the message like encryption deciphering mathematical cryptographic identification pretty good i should say all in all i think the reasoning is quite good and remember this is not the full model it is a quantized version so we expect some performance degradation but other than that really impressive model for the reasoning one try it out let me know what do you think um, and if you have any questions or comment please uh, you know place them in the comments and if you are the creator again thank you and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching